James Lennis. Thank you for joining me in my tasting table today. This wine is X. This is from the producer Quinta del Crasto, Duro, Torrigo Nacional, 2016 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this beautiful and one of my favorite wines from this year. Stay tuned. So when I'm tasting wines and reviewing wines, I'm not always certain how the wines are gonna characterize. I have an idea, but I don't really know that until I experience a wine. And that's the same thing with any uh, person like yourself who might be tasting wines and really trying to anticipate what you're going to enjoy the most. And to me, this is that expressed, beautiful, gorgeous wine. And one where I think is, you know, fantastic today, fantastic tomorrow. But before I talk more about this wine, please subscribe to this channel to see the latest videos that I'm producing. If you've already subscribed, Merci beaucoup to you, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Now this wine is really that treasure and ability. And when I think of this region, the Duro, here's a map right here, by the way. Now think of this region in terms of it being a region that is known for its fortified wines. And for good reason, they're solid, beautiful, historic wines. So I'm seeing many more, obviously, the non-fortified wines. And I think they're absolutely sublime and beautiful and gorgeous. And I like seeing them in the marketplace. They're much more available. Now, what I find very fascinating about this wine is it's completely Torrigo Nacional. So what you see in the marketplace today is a combination of other Duro or Portuguese varieties. And so it's a really sophisticated label for the sophisticated wine. It deserves a nice cover, but in addition to that, it's uh, earning its own keep, so to speak. Here's a back label for you to look at here. And 13.5% uh, ABV, a $78 suggested retail price point. And in my opinion, it's completely worth every single dollar for this wine. And this is one where you really wanna enjoy the food in my opinion. Although someone like myself, I very much enjoy acid on wine and the acidity is just so sublime and beautiful that I just wanna enjoy this on its own. So enjoy the wines the way you want to enjoy them. Now, if you enjoy this with your family and friends for a dinner, then definitely do that. But before you get started, try the wine on its own to really characterize and understand both the palate as well as the nose. And I think that leads to greater appreciation. So do two things with this wine. Buy one bottle today, enjoy it, and then put one away for a few years. I think this is gonna age nicely for five, 10, even 15, 20 years. Vinification notes are next. After complete destemming and slight crushing, the juice is transferred to a temperature controlled stainless steel tank. Once the alcoholic fermentation is completed, the juice is gently pressed and aging in 18 months in French oak barrels. And next I'll talk about the characterization of this wine, uh, nose and palate. So this is um, really, I, what I find very fascinating is it's a very fresh and lively wine. And uh, so just even on the scent, I'm gonna really get almost that characterization on the palate of just as a beautiful acidity. So I love the, uh, the wine. Just even on the nose, it's uh, presenting me with nice freshness, fresh red fruit, lavender notes, dried wood, as well as spice and heirloom tomato. Heirloom tomato to me, in terms of notation, really represents acidity and freshness. So on this, I'm getting its uh, fresh red uh, fruit notes, as well as lavender, dried wood, spices, and heirloom tomato. When I use a notation like heirloom tomato, I'm thinking acidity, as well as even a slight tart characterization, fresh characterization and uh, one that I very much enjoy. So next is the palate characterization. Outstanding acidity, lively, fresh, sophisticated. This wine is obviously gonna age very nicely for a long period of time. And in my opinion, it would be one where you wanna you know, buy two bottles, buy one to enjoy today, enjoy with your family and friends with a dinner, and also enjoy this maybe 15 to 20 years, put it in your cellar. And uh, I think this is a really nice, and some charming wine. I'm gonna be very sad when this bottle's gone, but also very much enjoy the ride along the way, so to speak. Outstanding characterization on this wine, very sophisticated, very polished, uh, considerable finesse on this wine. This is giving notes of black cherry, red fruit, fresh red fruit, pepper, cardamom, and bay leaf. So there's a lot of complexities in uh, both the nose and the palate uh, of this wine. This is 96 points out of 100 points. And um, this is one where I think it's absolutely sublime, beautiful. Enjoy this with beef duck, as well as uh, spicy vegetarian dishes and oily fish if you enjoy fish. I think it's absolutely sublime and beautiful. You know, definitely think about this wine in terms of if you're going to, you know, if you're uncertain about aged wines, then don't, you know, put it in your cellar for too long. If you've not tasted a lot of aged wines, be sure to, you know, next time you visit a winery, ask to taste some library wines if they have some available. Often there's one bottle that they've opened up and uh, one where I think they enjoy 
you know, showing the customers how the, the wine ages and how it is really a sophisticated wine over time. So for me, it's where I want to be tasting more and more library wines. There is an art form to it. It's absolutely beautiful. This wine is outstanding. More reviews to come. Thank you for coming to this tasting table. Questions and comments down below. That's where the like button is, so please hit that button. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and if you already have, I do appreciate it. And uh, come back to this tasting table for more wine reviews to come. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to share this video with somebody who's interested in Portuguese wines. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Sante.